Hey, it's Mario here and in this quick video I decided to break down the topic of how fast can you lose fat? I think this is a very, very important question that we all need to answer when we are starting a diet and in this video I decided to break down the science, give you a couple of studies, my own recommendations, recommendations from fellow coaches and also what you need to aim at. So what is the healthy uh, weight loss target. So how much can you lose while also preserving lean body mass, which is ultimately the goal of every diet is to lose as much fat as possible and keep as much muscle as possible, even build some muscle if you're in that scenario. So we know that the general principle of this uh, question of this um, equation is basically how much body fat you currently have. So the more body fat you have, the more you can use and the more you can burn per week. So someone, let's say my own recommendations were for someone who's above 20% body fat as a guy, you should be aiming to lose about one to 1.5% of your total body weight per week. So that comes about two to three pounds if you're a 200 pound male at about 20% body fat. If you're a guy between that 13 and 20% of body fat, which is kind of that stage where you want to get leaner, you want to get that six pack, you want to really get shredded. But the first step is to get below that 12% range. And to get there, if you're in between that 13 and 20% body fat, you should aim to lose about 0.7 to 1.2% of your body weight per week. So that's an average of 1% as a target of how much total body weight you should be dropping per week. And that's a safe range for you because at that rate, you're preserving lean body mass, which is extremely, extremely critical when you're dieting down, given that you're getting enough protein and that your exercise plan is, is in place and that you're doing strength training and that you have plenty of sleep. And for guys who are below 13% body fat, the guys who want to get really, really shredded, now we're talking about a range between 0.5 and 1% of body weight uh, per week, and even more leaning toward that 0.5 if your goal is to preserve the maximum of lean body mass while also losing fat. So I'm gonna dive into this uh, specific study related to this category of people who are around that 12, 13% body fat range, what you should be aiming at. There's some really, really interesting data on that. So where do we get these numbers? And these numbers usually come from a study uh, done by Alpert from 2005, which is kind of a weird study because basically what the guy did is he analyzed the Minnesota starvation experiment. The guys were put on a 1600 calorie diet. They were doing some kind of moderate level of activity. They were just walking a lot throughout the day as far as I know from what I could see in the research. And um, their protein intake wasn't that high. So he theorized that you could basically lose about 31 calorie per pound of body fat that you have. That's how much you can uh, go in a deficit uh, per day. So let's say you have about 20 pounds of fat on you and how you figure out your fat, you basically take your total body weight and body fat percentage. And let's say you're a male who is 180 pounds and you have, let's say 15% body fat, that, that would be like 15% of 180, that would give you about, let's say 20, three is 25. And then you would basically take that times 30 and it would give you an approximate calorie deficit of about 600 per day. And that's kind of his theory. Okay, you can only be in this amount of deficit, otherwise that, that's, how much, that's the maximum amount of fat you can actually utilize throughout the day. Then later there was some other data that was uh, pointing out that uh, he said that basically his study wasn't very accurate, the calculations were accurate, so he dropped that from 30 calories per pound to about 22 calories per pound. So this study, as I said, it wasn't done on a high protein intake. You know, there was no like strength training done. There was no bodybuilding type of training done. So we can't really take it uh, as the most accurate study out there, but it's a really good pointer that there is a limit, right? There's a limit of how much you can basically do and how much fat you can lose while preserving a lean body mass. And one of the really good recommendations that uh, from my uh, buddy, Greg Knuckles, he said, you take your body fat percentage and you divide that by 20 and that's how much of a body weight you can lose per week while preserving muscle mass. So let's say someone who is 10% uh, body fat at, at any weight, you would basically divide that by 20, that's gonna be 0 0.5 and that's kind of how your weekly target is when it comes to uh, burning fat when losing weight. So that, was, that would be a really easy calculation out there. I'm gonna leave all these calculations in the description below. So the so Alper study is very, very interesting, but I'd like to point out a different study done by Garth from 2011, which is really, really interesting because it actually looked at elite lifters who were getting an adequate amount of protein, who had about a 2,500 calorie maintenance, and you know, they were doing a lot of strength training, they were pretty strong. And uh, these guys, I mean, what they did is they basically took two groups and they compared 
how does a group react to faster loss, let's say between one and 1.4% of body weight per week versus a group who basically aims at about between 0.5 to 1% of uh, body weight loss per week. So fast versus slow cutting. So which one is better? So the findings were quite interesting. I mean, both groups uh, lost the same amount of fat. The fast group obviously lost the same amount of fat faster. I mean, they lost it in about 5.5 weeks, five and a half weeks, while the other group took about eight and a half weeks. So basically the, the amount of fat and the body weight loss was pretty damn similar, but the difference was because these guys were already fairly lean, uh, the difference was that the slower group actually managed to increase their performance a lot. They actually managed to build some muscle as well. So that's a very interesting uh, thing there. And the, the amount of lean body mass retention was pretty similar. So uh, basically the conclusion of that study was if you want to just maintain your body mass, you maintain your muscle mass, you can go for a, a little bit of a faster cut. So between one and 1.4% of body weight per week. But if your goal is to also uh, improve your performance and potentially build some muscle in the process, then you would aim for a slower cut. And it's probably a little bit more enjoyable as well if you cut slower because of uh, caloric deficit is not that deep. So they compared the caloric deficit of, the maintenance was 3,500. The fast group had about 30% of a caloric deficit while the uh, slow quote unquote group had about 18, 19% of a caloric deficit. So we're talking about pretty uh, hardcore deficits. If we're talking about 30%, that's a quite of a severe deficit. Uh, so the conclusion of that study really is if you're a lean guy, if you're someone who's really getting shredded below 12% body fat, around 10% body fat, don't aim at a very uh, fast rate of weight loss if your goal is to really hold on to maximum amount of muscle, even build some muscle. So I would, I would say in that case, I mean, it matches my recommendations, which is about 0.5%. Also, Greg Knuckles' recommendations, which are quite similar. So that would be my uh, basically rate that I would recommend everybody who's in that lean state. But if you're a guy who's in the middle range between like super fat or super skinny or being super lean, then you want to be in that range of about 1% of uh, body weight per week loss. So now there's a really good um, rationale actually if you're a guy who is in that category of 20% or above like 25% body fat, if you have a lot of weight to lose, let's say you have like 50 pounds to lose or 100 pounds to lose, let's say that's a severe case, um, you want to aim at a fast rate. At that point, if you have 50 pounds to lose, let's say you're a guy 250 pounds, if you have 250 pounds of weight on you, you should be aiming to lose a lot of that weight fast. Like that's at least for the first month or two, aim to lose about 1.5, even 2% of your body weight per week if you can sustain that deficit because it's going to motivate you and I mean, imagine someone who has um, 52 pounds to lose and you tell them, well, you're gonna lose a pound per week. You know? And then they are like thinking, well, shit, I have to diet the whole year. And or even a hundred pounds, you know, someone might think, oh shit, I need to diet for two years if I'm gonna be losing just a pound per week. So in that case, I mean, because of the, I guess, protective um, shield of the fat, you also don't lose lean body mass. It's okay to lose a little bit more aggressive, but. The leaner you get, the leaner you are, it's gonna be slower and slower, at least if your goal is to preserve lean body mass, which it should be if your goal is to really look great because even if you do cut down, if you don't preserve your lean body mass or if you don't have enough lean body mass to begin with, you're not gonna look very impressive. You can be skinny, but you can be lean as well, but there's not enough muscle mass to really have that impressive physique. So this is just my two cents on how fast you uh, <laughs> should be aiming at losing fat. I'm gonna leave. Uh, the summary and key points in the description below as well as some of these calculations which will guide you on your own journey. Uh, so these are the recommendations. The studies will also be linked in the description below as usual. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on the issue. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.